Today we're here to talk about this servo right here. This is the Tactic TSX45. It says right here that it's metal geared servo. Well it is, mostly. The catch is there's a plastic counter gear in here that if this servo fails, that's why it fails. The upside is there's a gentleman on eBay that's selling this gear right here. This is a metal gear that replaces that plastic gear so then everything in here is metal. No more weak little plastic gear to fail. Said they're ten dollars a pop and well worth it. Because overall this isn't a bad little servo. Yes there's better ones out there but a lot of people already have this servo. A lot of people aren't planning on doing anything extreme with their truck so this servo will serve them well as long as they fix this gear. So we're going to tear this servo apart, replace that gear, and put it back together and throw it back in service. You've seen in other videos where I say I like liquid electrical tape. This is another case where I've waterproofed this servo and then I've covered the outside in liquid electrical tape to seal the cracks. Once again, it's just a case of all we got to do is peel it off. This is why I love it. We'll stick a razor blade here at the edge. As soon as we work it down around the edge there, we're then able to just peel it off like a second skin. And there's the old, there's the servo underneath, just still pure and plain as can be. Looks like day one. I've had this on here for over a year. It says it sticks well until you get to peel it off, then it just comes right off. I like this for sealing cracks in electronic boxes and stuff like that because of that fact. That whenever it comes time to take it off, you can. There the screws are already easy to get to. And in no time flat, you have the whole thing back to the way it was before you added any, any tape to it. But during that year that it was on here, it kept the elements out of the servo, so well done. Because anybody that knows me knows that I like playing in the water with my crawlers. It's the mud, the muck. I like being in it. What can I say? But there we go. Now we'll just pop the arm off. Then we'll take the screws out, separate this, just take the top off where we'll remove the gears. We'll go ahead and relube them while we're in there. Add that gear to the gear set, reassemble, and be good to go. Now we have the, the horn off. We got the screws out of the bottom. We're ready to remove the top. Here we go. Okay. Here we see the metal gears. And here we see that little plastic gear. This right here is the culprit. That's what breaks. And that's what we have the gear here to replace. We'll just remove these gears, pop this one in, and be good to go. This is also a good time to go ahead and clean up all these gears to go ahead and knock the grime and goop off of them and relube them. Now that we've got the gears cleaned up, we're going to put them back together and we're going to grease them. I use what's called marine grease. This came in a tube to go in a grease gun, but it was more grease than I'd ever used for an RC purposes. So what I did was I put it in this glass baby food jar I picked up at the dollar store. We will put it back together and as we go we will grease each one of these gears. The good thing about the marine grease is it is water resistant so it will keep water out if and when water gets into the servo. Now we get our got our shiny new metal gear in here to replace that plastic one we had in here. Put a little dab of grease on the bottom of it. Next goes in this gear right here. So it's right here in this spot. I'm going to take a little dab of grease and just put it right there on each side of that gear. As it runs it will work its way around. Next up, this one. Since this bearing, I cannot get this bearing off this shaft, and it still feels like a good bearing though, we're just going to leave it there. And this part will be a little bit tricky, but we'll still get it assembled just fine. What we're going to have to do is slide these pieces together all at one time. Remember where this piece right here, this little nub, was pointed whenever you took it apart? because this is has to face back the way it was. And I took this apart, it was facing towards the outside. So, face it back towards the outside again. Just gotta get it lined up here so it'll drop down onto the pot. There 
and there we go. Make sure this pin drops into place. And there we go, everything's lined up. Now we just have to lube it. Okay, now we just go and we'll apply grease. Just a little bit in here in places where the gears contact each other. I like using this kind of grease right here because like I said before it is water resistant and it doesn't fling off real easy. This is a nice thick heavy grease that will stay on the gears for the duration. You don't need to go heavy 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 on it. I'm just going with enough here to keep everything happily lubricated. I will go a little bit heavy on the grease around the output shaft where it exits the case because that way Putting grease there will help keep water at bay. And as we all know, keeping water at bay is the secret to a long, healthy, and happy servo. Right here's where I'm putting the grease a little bit, like I said, a little bit heavier. I'm sure I'll get some on the shaft, but we can clean that off after we get the case back on. There we go. Now just put the case, slide the case back down over. Like so. And there we go. Just a little bit came out the, the hole there. We'll just put the screws back on the bottom now. And then she'll be good to go. I will recoat it with some liquid electrical tape to make sure everything stays nice and dry. But otherwise, we now have the metal gear in the servo. Let's go ahead and drop those screws back to case. And there we go. We have all four screws back in the case. Everything's back together nice and tight. We will go ahead and put our horn back on and then coat the case with liquid electrical tape. Here we have our tactic servo ready to reinstall into our deadbolt. It has a generous coating of liquid electrical tape coating the outside of it and sealing all those seams, especially here where the wire comes in as well. Now that we've replaced that plastic gear with a metal gear, we should be good for a long, long time and many, many scale miles out on the trail without having to worry about that gear breaking and ruining our day. I hope you found this video entertaining and useful. Please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos, and feel free to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and happy RCing!